You can easily create a free account with Revolut in just a few minutes and take advantage of its various features such as easy international payments and low fees. This video explains everything you need to know about Revolut and how to use it in detail. Opening a free account is easy through the Revolut app and it allows for easy and cost-effective money conversions and use in various currencies. In addition to these features, Revolut offers sub-accounts, single-use cards, investment options, analytics and connections to other banks. The account opening process does not require a Shufa query which is great for students, housewives, people without jobs or even as a secondary bank account. Personally, this is my third free bank account in addition to Deutsche Bank and DKB. Revolut provides a free bank account option which provides a Lithuanian IBAN and allows for cash withdrawals up to 200 euros per month or a maximum of five times without fees. Free virtual cards are also available and a physical card can be ordered with shipping charges. Additionally, 3% cash back is provided on stay bookings and up to 1000 euros per month in currency can be exchanged between Monday and Friday without any fees. Disposable virtual cards are also available for secure online shopping. Regardless of which subscription is chosen, there's always an annual term that is deducted directly from the Revolut account each month. Users can review all the conditions via the link in the description as there may be charges over time. So how can we open a Revolut account? Simply click the first link in the description where you may even receive a special opening advantage. For example, at the time of posting this video, you can receive three free months of premium account. Once there, enter your mobile number and you will receive an SMS with a link to download the app. Currently, the only way to open an account is through your smartphone, but after opening, Revolut can also be used through their website. After starting the app for the first time, you will need to enter your mobile number, which will be linked to your account, allowing you to log in at any time. You will also need to enter your country of residence, your name, which must match your ID card, date of birth, address, and email address. Before proceeding with your identity check, you will need to read and accept the terms and conditions and information on deposit protection. Next, you will need to take a selfie with your phone, which will be used for verification purposes only. You will then create a security code to be used to open the app in the future. Now you can submit your ID card, passport or driver's license for verification, taking a picture of the back and front. You will also need to provide your tax number, which can be done later. However, it's advisable to do it now as it must be done within the next 90 days. You will then need to specify what you plan to use Revolut for and whether you want to create a virtual debit card for online shopping and services like Apple Pay or Google Pay. This is essentially free of charge. Depending on the plan, you can also order a physical debit card for which a shipping fee may apply. After these selections, you will be directed to the app. However, it may take a few hours for your account to be properly activated and for you to access all of the features. Don't worry if you don't see all of the features at first glance or if the cards aren't available yet. You can always log into your account via the app using your security code or via the website using your mobile phone number. Please hit the like button if you're getting value from this video and consider subscribing. After opening the Revolut app, we can immediately see our default account balance and recent transactions on the home page. By clicking the arrow next to the balance, we can easily switch between our Revolut accounts or create a new one. It's possible to create an account for each currency, which is convenient if you don't always want to automatically convert money into euros or if certain payments require another currency. By clicking on the flag on the right, we can also access our account details. Here we see the IBAN number for each currency. And when someone sends us money, it can be calculated in the account from the currency in which the amount was sent. We can view all the statements of the account at the top and exchange currencies between our accounts directly on the homepage. We can also see any fees incurred if we exchange currency on the weekend or exceed our free quota. The next question is how to top up our Revolut account since we cannot spend more than what we currently have in our account. We can transfer money to our Revolut account from another account or use Apple or Google Pay to deposit from our other cards. However, fees may apply if you use the latter option. Currently, cash deposits are not possible. We can then spend the money by using our activated cards, which we can directly access at the top. From the bottom menu, we can also make normal transfers by sending money to IBN or account information, our crypto wallet, other Revolut users with their username or create a payment link. For international payments, we select the destination currency 
enter the details and the amount. Specify the reason for payment and see the estimated transfer time at the bottom. We then have a complete overview where we can see any fees incurred in the transaction and then finalize it. We confirm the payment by security code and SMS and it appears in the overview with our transfers. Revolut also provides analytics where we can evaluate our transactions by accessing them through the search function. We can see our income and expenses during a selected period, divide them into categories, countries, and merchants. We can create budgets for different areas of life, such as monthly spending goals and receive notifications when we exceed our goals. We can also add our own categories to the analytics and transactions. We only see our latest transactions on the home page, but we can find all our transactions by searching for customers, purposes, or amounts using the upper search function. Revolut has many advantages, one of which is the various options available for managing cards and sub accounts in our main account. On the home page, we can find all of the cards in a separate area at the top. We can directly manage our active, virtual and physical cards, add them to our Apple or Google Pay wallet for mobile payments and access their details. Block them, set spending limits, name them, unblock the CVV code or even cancel them. Virtual cards can be multi-use or disposable, useful for a single payment and refunds are still possible. Transactions for each card are displayed and we can add even more cards. Depending on the subscription, physical cards may have one-time cost or only be available on certain subscriptions. We can also link other bank accounts to the Revolut app to view their transactions and include them in our analysis. In addition to different accounts for different currencies on the homepage, we can create sub-accounts called vaults through the option in the bottom menu. We can use these sub-accounts to save money and set target amounts and deadlines, move them to our main accounts and display them on the homepage. We can also set standing orders or round of change to move money to the vault automatically. There are no additional costs for using vaults and we can always access the money there. We also have pockets which are similar to vaults but allow us to store standing orders and recurring payments based on topics for tracking fixed costs such as housing and contracts. There are some more exciting features available with Revolut. Firstly, you can create a joint account with another person which allows for shared finances as well as individual accounts. Joint cards can be issued and spending limits can be set. For minors, a legal guardian, usually the parent with a Revolut account, can create an account for them with personal details provided and the account available from the age of six. Parents are responsible for the account and can view it in their own account. For those between 16 and 18, a Revolut account can be created with parents' consent without having to create the account through their account. Revolut also offers the ability to invest in stocks, crypto, and commodities, which can be accessed through the help section of the app. Additional terms and conditions apply, and there are additional costs. However, I think there are better options for stock trading like Scalable Capital and Trade Republic, which I have covered in detail on my channel. The Revolut app also features a cashback section where discounts and cashback offers can be found when shopping. However, these must be accessed through the app's offer section and are not automatically applied when paying with the Revolut card. Now let's take a closer look at our account setting, which can be accessed via the profile picture on the app's starting page. Here we can see our unique username displayed directly under our name, which we have the option to customize. It's important to note that this can only be changed once, so it's wise to carefully consider which username you want to use. This username allows us to receive money from other people through the personal Revolut link, which can also be shared via the QR code displayed here. Additionally, we can store a profile picture on the top right corner, which other Revolut users will see when they make transactions to us. Within the settings, we can view all of the account details for all of the currency accounts that we've created. Below that, we can view and change our current Revolut subscription as well as our current limits. Under the account, we can edit our personal information and view details for all of the accounts at Revolut, including contract conditions and the options to close our entire account. One major advantage of Revolut is the easy account opening process through the app without the need of Shufa, which is absolutely brilliant. Additionally, if you frequently receive or make payments in other currencies, the conditions are very favorable and you don't need to convert the money into euros through the sub accounts. International payments are generally inexpensive and the fees are low. However, there are some drawbacks to consider. 
For example, Revolut does not provide a German IBAN number, customer service is quite limited and cash deposits are not possible. If customer service and cash deposits are something important to you along with credit and overdraft options, a traditional bank with branches and personal advice may be a better option. In this video, I compare 11 free bank accounts in Germany and I'm sure you can find a good alternative if you don't like what Revolut has to offer. So thanks for watching, bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.